is what happens when my AC compressor RPM sensor goes bad? Because it's summer and we're getting a lot of AC questions, I got a question this week from over email about the AC compressor RPM sensor on a 1986-190E. What is the compressor RPM sensor? Well, it's the only, only job in this world is to make sure that if the compressor locks up, it stops power to the compressor clutch, so that the serpentine belt is not projected into outer space, leading to overheating and other possible mechanical damage. Now, the compressor RPM sensor works with the Klima relay, and it works in a voltage feedback loop so that if the voltage value goes outside of certain parameters, such as, uh, well, in this case, I think it goes down to zero or 0, 0.02 volts or less, then the compressor RPM sensor indicates, is indicating to the compressor control relay, otherwise known as the Klima relay, that the compressor is no longer turning and power is shut off. Now, the low voltage condition that is created by a slipping belt will also shut off the compressor RPM sensor, or will, will also trigger the compressor RPM sensor and shut off the compressor. But the only way to make the compressor come back on again is to shut the engine off and restart it. There is a reset function in the relay that will only work after the ignition has been turned off. So now you know about that. Now sometimes these compressor sensors go bad when there's nothing wrong with the compressor and there's nothing wrong with the serpentine belt. How do we know that that's going on? Well there's a quick test. You can start the car and see if the compressor starts out turning nicely with the uh, engine running and then after you give it some throttle and come off the throttle if the compressor stops turning then we know that the RPM sensor is bad. Replacing it necessitates removal of the compressor and it's about a $150 part. However, if you're in a situation where your Mercedes dealer is quoting you $1,080 for a compressor for your 190E, you could probably benefit from just replacing the sensor. Granted, sometimes it is cheaper to go on AutoHouse Arizona or Amazon.com and go shopping for a brand new Nippon Denso compressor for two or three hundred dollars but if you're in a position where you just can't find one replacing the RPM sensor makes perfect sense. Anyway thank you so much for, inqu for your inquiries for more mysteries of your AC system send us your questions. Thanks!